Good afternoon, class. Today I'll be looking at the Octobati couple from the Kami Sutra series of Vatsayayana. It's an Indian word. It's an, he is an uh, Indian philosopher. He of the Kami Sutra series. He was said to. He was said that he was a person that write the book of Kami Sutra. The book of Kami Sutra is based on sexuality, mostly. Next. Now this painting is more like an illustration from the Kami Sutra series. As you can see, we have here, we have here two person, they are a couple. You can see that the man is inserting his penis into the woman's vagina. Uh, they are both dressed in jewelries. They are on a cushion or more like a bed. They are wearing, he's wearing green and she's wearing pink, which is a complimentary word um, of green in some terms. You could use pink as a complementary of green because I would say it's a shade of red, so they would come from each other. Now in this work I like the way that the artists use the colors. Like I said, it they both complement each other, like the way men complement women. You can see that there is a lot of graphic lines or geometric lines per se. A lot of straight lines, not much curved lines. Uh, you will find the curved lines in the jewelry and in the cushion. You will find the flowing lines in her hair, the way it flows down to the ground. And in the fabric, you will find a lot of flowing lines. Now the colors, uh, I think you use the colors to highlight the important parts, there is a high red here, you can see, which draws your attention to that part, that part very quickly. And the strong pink leading up to that part also draws your attention there. Now when I look at this work, it, it brings me to the, it brings me to research more on like erotic patient paintings and illustrations. Next. Next. Okay, so this is an ancient Egyptian art. It's from the pyramids. They usually draw on the walls of the pyramid. Um, like this, this right here, this illustration is also showing sexuality. And the private parts in this painting here. And also in this, they're very much straightforward and exposed. There's nothing to hide here. As you can see here, the woman is dressed in a lot of jewelry. She's more like the master and here now. Both of them are dressed in a lot of jewelry. So this painting is more like the slave master seducing the slave. That is how I get it. But for in this painting, you can see that they're both there, well, on the same level because they have on, they're both dressed in jewelry. One don't look rich than the other. And you can clearly see that this is a couple, but in this painting, you're not sure if it's a couple. Now, the illustration is about 1,500 years old. So it's dated way back. So it's been used for a straightforward teaching on, the, on sexuality. And it's also popular in a lot of places, like a lot of countries and around the world.
now, I think for this work, I think for this work here, the artist managed to use his colors effectively. The way it complements, he managed to be straightforward with his painting, as in the book. Since it's been used for an illustration, I think that it's straightforward enough as in terms of the private parts not hidden. And you can see clearly that the man is resting his hands on the woman's breast. So this illustration is straightforward. I like the way he painted it. And the colors that he used, it was effective, I think. Now the lines, I don't think that there would adding shade into this, yes, it would be more, it would be more interesting but as in terms of being straightforward, there's not much to be added to the form of art that you're, according to the form of art that you're doing. And most illustrations, you don't really have a lot of interest placed on the form. It also looks flat, but in the sense of being straightforward, that's what I get from it. It's supposed to be straightforward, so you won't place much interest on the body, and making that form to come out as though it's three-dimensional. Now this piece of artwork, for me, I think it was successfully done. It's straightforward. You can see all the parts. You can see the position that they're in. And there's nothing there hindering you from what you're going to get from the work. But for me, if I need to do an illustration like this, since it's since we're in another generation of work, I think that our well, my artwork will I will have to place more emphasis on the body and on the three-dimensional form. But what I, what I take away from this work is that as long as you're doing something straightforward, you don't need to go that much into making it look three-dimensional because you just want to get that out. You just want to get the message out and want to be straightforward to whatever you're trying to tell the audience. Now, in conclusion, I think this, this piece was very successful. I also think that it's controversial in terms of we don't have these illustrations. Well, younger, when I was younger, you won't see much of these illustrations. You would see like, this part blocked out, and now, back then, it was all open and straightforward to the public for the use of education, but now you don't have that for education, you have it like for horns and other things. So, I think that this work was successful. Thank you. Good job,